Right, so this this time we're going to look at some uh, more stuff that came out in the 80s. Uh, we're going to focus on a particular label, and that's the Swinging Pig label. Um, they brought out quite a quite a few titles on vinyl, um, and then switched to CD uh, towards the latter part of the 80s. Um, this is just obviously with the vinyl that we're looking at. They they very much concentrated on coloured vinyl, um, and after the very early releases, they were often sort of multicoloured marbled vinyl, so very very attractive. All deluxe sleeves. Um, oh, before I go on, just mention what we've got on the back behind us today. Uh, these are Wizardo, a few Wizardo titles. Um, Take Linda Surfing from Pink Floyd, Miracle Muffler, uh, Pink Floyd, uh, sister LPs really, Revelation Without a Cause from Genesis, and also this uh, Alice Cooper's a uh, Wizardo. <coughs> so, okay, so to start off with, um, this is the, the third release that. Uh, Swinging Pig brought out, uh, which would have been around 1983, pretty much when they started. And this is what it looked like. This is a single printed sleeve. It's got a nice gold sticker saying a genuine Swinging Pig disc. Got the Dancing Pig. This says Collector's Edition Red Vinyl, 500 copies. And then fairly rudimentary back cover. Um, yeah, 1983 it actually has it on the back. Uh, the Swinging Pig TSP003, so it was the third release they brought out. So you've got nice translucent red, and the labels, the uh, Swinging Pig logo, Dancing Pig Man for collectors only. After the first few titles, they got into more of a set style, and these aren't in any order. There's a lot of these now as Rolling Stones releases, the Swinging Pig Light, the Stones. Um, it was basically a label that uh, was operated out of Luxembourg on the basis, I think, that at the time um, there was a protection, protection gap issue in the, uh, in the law, whereas Luxembourg was one of the countries that hadn't signed up to the copyright protection issues at the time. Um, but they were distributed through Germany and it was a label owned by a guy called Dieter Schubert, a German chap, who was also responsible for Royal Sound bootlegs that came out in the 80s. They were all multicoloured vinyls, so I've got some of those which we'll have a look at at some other stage. So, we've got a few Stones titles. The first one's quite a hard one to find, which is Muddy Waters and the Rolling Stones. Sweet Home Chicago. There's other pressings of this recording. It's a club show uh, from 1981. The guys playing with Muddy Waters. And the inside is just black and white. My cover was actually a bit damaged, so it had to be repaired. So on the inside, it came with the Swinging Pig catalogue sheet. Which uh, lists their releases and tells you about forthcoming releases. That's 
the original swinging pig in a bag which is a printed paper with plastic inside to protect the record William Stout obviously design and the first disc is a very nice lime green with red and dark green and other colours marbled into it second disc and the same inner there's a nice multiple marbled multiple colours on that so for some reason this title is quite hard to hard to find it wasn't my experience. So, let's say these aren't in any particular order. So, we've got Philadelphia Special. Uh, this one's got 1990 as the date they brought this out. So, again, deluxe cover. the boys on the inside nice live shot on the back so the date line is Philadelphia 72 uh, with additional track from Texas, uh, Fort Worth, Texas, 72. Inside. And this is a beautiful blue, pale blue, and dark blue, and a bit of black marble on that disc. They nearly always use different, slightly different colour discs between the first and second disc. So the second one's a green marble. Oops, I drop it in. I have no idea whether that's coming over okay, but it's uh, very pretty. got uh, New Barbarians Buried Alive uh, from uh, Largo again on that a bit grey a bit bland but still better than plain old black and the third 
third one. It's a nice light green. With some subtle marbling on it. Okay, uh, so the next one's liver than you'll ever be. Uh, obviously the original LP that came out with that title. It was one of the first Stones bootlegs, a single album. Uh, famous for its fantastic sound quality. Oakland Coliseum, uh, November the 9th, 1969, second show. <coughs> This is the same thing but complete. And the history, a bit of history and uh, stuff on the inside. So this one, the first discs uh, marbled. Light blue and white. Very pretty. Good. And the other one is multicolor splatter. out nicely. Absolutely gorgeous. So you've got some mar uh, green with blue, red, white marbling and splatter detail. They often give you one slightly nicer disc and one slightly plainer disc I find. So this other stones one is get your leads lungs out. So again, a copy of a famous <coughs> previously released recording. Uh, Leeds University 71. This one we've got the swinging big sticker. There's pictures on the gatefold. In it. Okay, so this disc is very nice marbled, sort of grey but with subtle reds and blues and whites. Very nicely done. Peeling disc. And the other one, even more so. Pink, blue, black, red, green. Really nice. So those are the Stones original Swinging Pigs. I've got two uh, special box sets that they did. Um, and I've got the multicoloured vinyl versions of them, which we'll look at another time. Um, but we'll finish off with a couple of Floyds. So these are original Swinging Pig releases. Uh, Pink Floyd. One of these days. Paris Theatre 71, famous BBC recording I think. Uh, usual 
bag. And the vinyls are really interesting. Translucent green with blue, dark green, black swirls. It may look better if I hold it. And that in the back. Finally, Amsterdam 69, so, uh, Amsterdam 17 September 69, great early show, great cover. The vinyl is absolutely beautiful on this one. It's a mustard yellow with black, blue, green, white, red. Marble streaks throughout. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I've got a Beatles uh, special multicolored one, which I'll show with the uh, Stones box sets. Um, but that's it for the early uh, swinging pigs. Um, I'll now move on to the reincarnation of Swinging Pig label um, which was I think it was done by somebody else just using the Swinging Pig name and copying their style um, so uh, we'll have a look at those next but I uh, hope you've enjoyed having a look at some of these um, these, these bootlegs from the 80s uh, and I'll see you again soon